Before you start any kind of research or designing, you need to ask yourself, what platform am I designing for? So the most important question is, is this a desktop app or a mobile app? If you're just starting out, I would recommend you to pick one and stick with it. And for example, if you stick with the desktop app, eventually if the product succeeds, you can make a mobile version. Vice versa, you either begin with a mobile app and if the mobile app becomes successful, you eventually shift to a desktop app as well. Because the process and the system behind designing a web app is very different from a mobile app. Obviously, because in a mobile app, you have limited real estate, whereas in a desktop app, you have a big space to fill. Even the way how the components behave is very different. A very simple example is of how buttons are made for desktop and mobile app. On mobile, you have something which is a press state. But on a desktop, you have pressed and hover. But on the mobile side of things, you don't have hover for a button. This is just a very small example, but functionally, a lot of things come into the picture when you're designing a desktop app as compared to just a mobile app. Now, when you pick a desktop app, it is very important to understand how do you allocate space on your real estate? How do you allocate regions of your screen? And it is extremely important that you take inspiration from other platforms. All the resources that I've shared till now are usually around mobile apps, but if you want to take inspiration for desktop apps, you must check out PageFlows. This is a paid website and I am recommending you this because I use the platform. This is not a paid collaboration, but PageFlows basically allows you to go through web platforms and they have different chapters within a specific video. So what they do is they would record a specific, let's just say an onboarding flow, and then you can go through different aspects of that interaction. You can actually go through specific segments of the app's flow. So very quickly, you can see how a desktop app conducts different areas of the app. So in a very short amount of time, you can go through multiple desktop apps and see how they execute their different flows. Check out PageFlows. It is a great app to take desktop inspiration. Now, if you're designing to build a mobile app, First, decide whether it's going to be an Android app or iOS app. As I said, kickstarting both projects together is slightly intimidating. So I would recommend you to go through your user persona, figure out what is the major chunk of your audience looks like, what kind of phones are they using and stick with a specific platform and then ask your developers and designers to go through their documentation. So for both Android and iOS, there are specific guidelines that you need to follow before you publish your app. For iOS, there's a separate guideline. For Android, there's a separate guideline. If you don't follow these guidelines, your app will get rejected on the App Store. So these guidelines need to be considered in the very initial phase when you're designing the applications as well. So make sure your developers, product managers, and designers are very well versed with the application guidelines. I will put the link in description. You can go through the guidelines yourself. There's a third option for mobile apps as well. That is to make a web app. These web apps would open on Google Chrome, but it's always better to build a native app. When I say native, it basically means that you're making an app that is only made for the iOS phones. If you're launching an Android app, it is specifically made and built for Android phones because native applications are specifically built for that platform. So they run very smoothly and the overall experience is much more enhanced. Now, if you're designing for mobile, I would recommend you to go through these two very, very important resources to collect your design inspiration. First one is Mobin.design for UI inspiration. I've mentioned this resource before as well. They have many, many applications. They have a dictionary panel where you can go through specific aspects of your app. It becomes very easy for you to take references from successful apps, actually live apps, and then implement them and then take insights from them and consider those things during your research. Second resource is learnmobile.design. This is basically a very, very strong curation of mobile design resources. It has a lot of content available. Please make sure that both your developers and designers spend some time going through these resources because what you learn from them is going to help you avoid many, many mistakes in the longer run. Once you've decided your platform, you will be able to narrow down your scope and be ready for the next step. I will see you in the next video. This video is from our free course, UX Design for Entrepreneurs and Founders, that will give you the best tips, resources, and a step-by-step -step plan towards building a team and designing your first app. All videos are in both Hindi and English. You'll find the link to the full course in description.